Uh, some breaking news that we can bring you from Manchester Crown Court. Uh, the nurse that you can see there, Victorina Chua, he's been jailed for life with a minimum term of 35 years for the murders and poisonings of patients at Stepping Hill Hospital. The judge, Mr Justice Openshaw, called his crimes, quote, despicable and odious. There was no reaction from him, apparently, as he was taken down by security. Many of the families, though, who were in the court to watch him being sentenced were in tears uh, at this uh, ruling. Life with a minimum term of 35 years. He's been described as a narcissistic psychopath by detectives. Uh, was convicted of murdering two patients and poisoning 19 others with insulin by the jury at Manchester Crown Court yesterday following this trial, which has lasted around three months. The Filipino father of two was arrested in January 2012, re-arrested in March 2014. Among the evidence produced by the prosecution, a self-penned letter found at Chua's home in Stockport, which you may have seen in many of the newspapers this morning, explaining what may have been his motivation. He described himself, or described his letter as the bitter nurse confession, and he said he was an angel turned into an evil person. He went on to say, there was a devil in me who had things he would, quote, take to the grave. What he had done, he'd injected insulin into saline bags whilst working in two acute wards at Stepping Hill Hospital back in, in June and July 2011. And these were then unwittingly used by other nurses on the ward, which led to a series of insulin overdoses to mainly elderly victims on this ward. And what then followed was chaos and panic because patients started suffering uh, sudden illnesses. Uh, nobody really understood what was happening. A hospital staff were in turmoil. Turmoil police were on the brink of closing the hospital for the sake of patient safety. Um, but he was found guilty yesterday by a jury. It's a long trial. That jury took 11 days to finally reach their conclusion. Greater Manchester Police said it was the biggest case in a decade that they'd faced. Uh, police and detectives yesterday hugging members of the legal team after the jury left court. A hugely complex uh, court case and one certainly that had profound implications for the hospital. They introduced lots of closed circuit television cameras uh, to scrutinise what was going on there and change their procedures. It's led and has provoked a debate in a number of different directions, not least uh, when nurses can claim qualifications which they do not necessarily and have not fully completely yeah. earned. Because the investigations team has found inconsistencies in his medical qualifications, uh, which they've since raised with the Department of Health and the Home Office, as well as con contacting the uh, Nursing and Midwifery Council. So that these relate to the robustness or otherwise of the qualifications and the training regime that he underwent in the Philippines at the time of his training uh, before he came to the UK. They are, they are concerned that there were significant opportunities for fraud at that time, possibly people able to take exams on behalf of others. So, Concerns on a number of levels surrounding this case.